Hello everybody and welcome to another installment of Migo Museum Mint Off Card. It's been a little while, but we're back mainly because we have an exciting exclusive and that is the Nosferatu figure from Migo Corp. Full disclosure, Migo did actually generously give this to me, uh, but that shouldn't impact my objectivity too much because this is probably the number two figure I was looking forward to from this new series. I think number one would be the Bruce Lee, but this is pretty amazing. So let's give a little backstory on Nosferatu for those not in the know. It is based on the 1922 F.W. Murnau film from Germany that starred Max Schreck as the titular Nosferatu or Count Orlock. The better name for Count Orlock might be Count Knockoff because this movie is clearly based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. Vampires had come and gone before in pop culture, but this was based on the Stoker novel, and so much so that Stoker's widow, who was still enjoying good residuals from the stage play and novel reprintings, sued the movie and actually tried to get every copy destroyed. Unfortunately for her, and fortunately for us, she didn't succeed completely because we've actually seen Nosferatu, and it is a film classic and something that should be preserved. The character in itself is a public domain character, meaning that anyone can make an action figure of it. And I'm kind of surprised that Migo is the first to do it in this scale. I know Castaway tried about 10 years ago, and they ran into some problems with their molds, so they didn't get it done. But precious few toy companies have actually um, exploited Nosferatu. I know Sideshow did it, and I believe Mezco did it. But he hasn't been as prevalent as you would think a, a public domain but instantly recognizable character such as him has been done. So having said that, uh, we've taken a look at the carded figure. Let's begrudgingly take him off the card and see what he's like. Hang back. <laughs> Nosferatu. Even after I say that, you know, I got this comped, <laughs> I have to tell you, I am thrilled with this figure. I, I am super pleased. I know everybody's impression when Migo came back is they had different expectations. Some people wanted, you know, the, the fun and clunky 1973 look. Other people were really expecting a Hot Toys or a Mezco 112 figure for 20 bucks this is perfect to my expectations of an eight inch action figure that sells for under 20 dollars i think they've got the detail right i absolutely love everything about this figure i think the hands are amazing the head sculpt is fantastic uh the outfit is is gorgeous and i don't care that this doesn't come with an accessory because what accessory does nosferatu come with anyways this is perfect. I love this figure. Uh, a couple of uh, things I wanted to mention. My only quibble of this is they misspelled the sculptor's name on the back of the box. It is not Sean Sampson. It is Sean Sansom. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a good friend of mine, and that, that's a little part of it. The outfit was done by Rachel Baker, who is known to anyone that hangs around Amigo Museum. I'm really glad she's part of this. She's a, a talented person and a bright light. Um, again, this is a fabulous action figure. They are shipping out as we speak, and everyone should have them this March. Uh, you can get them through a number of different retailers. 
I will put a link to Entertainment Earth because that is uh, the Mego Museum sponsor, and we do get a little bit back, and it helps us, you know, doing prizes for Mego Meet and that sort of thing, and keeps our bandwidth fun going. Uh, but you know, no pressure. I mean, order it where you can. You're always supporting Mego. Uh, I would love to know what you think of Nosferatu, or if you're excited about the new horror line like I am. Please leave a feedback uh, either on the, um, the YouTube comments or on our Facebook page, Mega Museum. Of course, at our forums, megamuseum.com. Uh, again, I'm pumped to be back, and I, I hope you like this video. And I'll see you in a couple of days because I've got a second Mego Horror Reveal I'm, I'm excited to do. Man, they really got my number. Uh, until then, buy what you like. Take care.